Welcome back to the Notre Dame Anti-Dynasty, where we have a lot of spins to do. Of course, punt power was on the list, because apparently it always is. Getting some good ones here. Interceptions there, that extra helps. And some running back ability, so maybe Notre Dame should start running the ball a bit more. That was an embarrassing loss to USC last week. We hope to get on track here against Arizona State, who's, you know, doing Arizona State things. So, yeah, Notre Dame, they got to get back into it. They're redonning those blue caps. That's the only way that they've won. They've only won in those caps. And they're going to start off with a handoff up the middle, and Audric Estime breaking that tackle. There is the extra break tackle already coming into play. And he gets down to the 35. Third down and eight just a little bit later. Drew Pine is going to stand there all day like a cedar tree and wind up finding Estime. I had no idea, but... There's a flag, pass interference on the offense, and they will just wind up kicking a field goal. So the Irish settle for three. That's still a decent start, though. Orgay is going to start off the game by rolling out, and he's going to chuck it and find Sanders. And I don't think he believed that he was going to catch that because he just turned right back. So that will bring up third down and nine. Borgay getting back, has the catch by Sanders, but he is short of the first down marker. They're going to go for it. Fourth and three, and that is perfect defense by the Irish. Absolutely flawless. Arizona State comes away empty, and Estime is going to break a tackle and just about pick up a first down. They do eventually. Then on second and eight, Drew Pine gets Michael Mayer wide open. I mean, seriously, how wide open can you leave a guy? Second down and 11 here. Drew Pine to the left, caught by Lindsay, and he will fight into the end zone. Notre Dame is going to go up by 10 points. A strong start for the Irish. We're used to seeing them score first. Man, this one seems a little bit different. They are they're going on full cylinders right now. Orgay will go to the left as well, and that's also a catch. So apparently the left side is just open season. Orgay rolls out this time. It's the second time, and he gets Elijah Badger a second time. So I think Arizona State found a good formula there. And now he's going to stay in the pocket for a wide open Zazavian Valaday. What in the world is that first name? I mean, seriously, what is that? Craziness. Craziness out in Arizona. But they bring it back within three. So Notre Dame needs to do a response because they can't let their defense try to hold on. But a good play there. And then right here, an interception. I'm not exactly sure what he was doing. But Bethley here just has a lineman to beat, and that's not very hard. So Arizona State is going to go all the way and score a touchdown. And just like that, Notre Dame's 10-point lead is completely evaporated, and then some. They, uh, yeah, yeah, they're not doing so well. Now going to be down by four points, and they want a response. And Drew Pine is just going to do it himself because, well, if you can't throw the ball, may as well run. Plus, they did get that extra running back ability. Third and five, big time play here. Drew Pine just eluding the pressure and gets it right on the sideline. Absolute duck, great pass. So good that the Irishman is breaking out extra dance moves. But on third down and six, it's going to be a catch. Matt Solerno, they're not going to be held down. First and goal, no. Great defense by the Sun Devils. Second down and goal, will that work? Uh, no, he just throws it away. Well, that'll bring up third down and goal, maybe here. And that one is a catch, but short of the goal line. And because they're a bunch of chickens, they're just going to kick the field goal. So Notre Dame takes three points. Only three points. And you would think that that would be the end of the half, but Notre Dame's lack of coverage says otherwise. It's a wide open pass to Thompson, and he's going to get pushed out at the 11. That will wind up resulting in this field goal right here giving Arizona State a four-point lead once again, heading into the second half, where they will get the ball to start off the second half. Maybe Notre Dame can do better in this half, but Arizona State gets the ball, and Borgay is rolling out again, because why not? It seems to work very well. Notre Dame, perhaps you need to work on that on defense. The rollout cheese is a lot of cheese. Third down and 17 here, and that doesn't matter for this Notre Dame defense because they're going to give up anything, really. First down and goal, Borgay rolling out again. There's some more of that cheese. They're leaving it wide open, and he throws for a touchdown instead. 
I thought he was going to run for it, but no, he decides to throw it for the touchdown instead, and that makes it 24-13. And then Notre Dame decides not to do anything on their next drive. That gives the Sun Devils the ball right back. So what do you do? You find Elijah Badger, who had a couple good catches in the first half. He's going to get down right at about the 20-yard line, 37 yards for the first play, and then eventually a goal line run up the middle for a touchdown. And Arizona State seems to have control of this one. Notre Dame on their next drive is going to throw it behind the line. Or maybe not. Oh well, they don't do anything. But they do eventually score another touchdown with two and a half to go. Down by 18, they're going to try for two. And uh, they do a worse job than the Seattle Sea Dragons on two-point conversions. Arizona State will fake this field goal and add insult to injury, as you do, because Notre Dame is just done for. And you know that your night is done, except by your, I mean Notre Dame's, because Arizona State wants to put in one more touchdown. That'll be Trenton Borgay putting in another. Got to increase that lead, get those extra boosts. And uh, yeah, this one was over at the start of the second half, and... Uh, Here's a little confession, so the game accidentally froze at the end of the first half, so the stats aren't actually accurate, I just re-got the score from the end of the first half and called it good, so no box score, no nothing, just going to look at a preview of next week, it's Navy, they're 1-6, they're in the 60s, maybe 70s as far as talent, this one I would think would be a Notre Dame win. But I guess you never know. And look at the Navy schedule. They're one win against Tulsa, apparently. So, there you go. I hope to see you next week for the Navy game. But until then, make sure to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and have a nice day.